Hey guys, welcome to Daily Tech. Today we're going to be looking into Samsung's July update. And um, this update are installed on the 5th of July. And right here it says device stability improvement, bug fixes, new and enhanced features, further improvement to performances. So I've gone ahead and checked almost everything to see if there is uh, something new, something hidden that we did not know about. And um, no, there isn't anything new here, either in the settings, cameras, just been a security patch or a little bit of a performance boost, who knows. But what I do know is there are a few um, updates to apps um, that have come out of the Galaxy Store, which I think would be um, interesting to take a look at. So let's jump right into it. There was an update for this app, Voice Changer. Just like the name suggests, this is what Voice Changer does. It takes your voice and changes it to whichever options you've chosen here. So if I was to tap on this to record whatever I am saying, I can then go back in here and choose which options I want to use in listening to my voice. So it's just recorded. So let's listen to what I said in a different voice. Just to record whatever I am saying, I can then go back in. And the usual process was if you started recording or if you started using an app that utilizes your microphone, a notification will pop up here, which would then allow you to choose whichever options you want there to. And you would have to do this every single time you were recording or using an audio. But with the latest update, you're now allowed to apply this effect. As you see here, always use voice effects. So you can toggle that on. And at the moment, the always use effect is default, which is the normal, but I could tap on baby. And when I come here, it will show always use voice effects baby. And the next time I go recording, I don't actually have to do anything because it's already been set. As you see here, it shows baby. If you don't know how to get this voice changer feature, what you will need to do would be to download good luck um, if you don't have it you need to go into your galaxy store okay and then search for good luck install good luck and open it up then you will need to look for sound assistant which if you come to family section it will be right here you can jump in there and now you get the options to utilize your voice changer if you've already got the sound assistant and you just need to update it, all you have to do is jump into your Galaxy Store here, tap on menu here and search for updates. And if there are any apps there that need to be updated, they will show down here and you can then tap to update. There's something I also noticed with my timer. Not, I don't think this was part of the update, but I, th I think I've just noticed it, that's all. What happens is if I was to tap on this timer here and I went out or went to do something else, it then minimizes to this pop-up mode here. And if you leave it for some time, it changes to the, the pill shape. The first time it happened, I was thinking to myself, what's going on here? Why did it switch? Why did it change? And I thought maybe I pressed something and um, made it happen that way, but no. Yeah, that's the way it's meant, to, it's meant to be. So you can then have your timer in the background and you can move around and do whatever you need to do which is good and if you tapped on it it would expand and if you wanted you could pause it from here you could resume you could expand take you back to the bigger menu here um if this is not something you're interested in you could tap there and go to settings and right here you see the show menu timer you could toggle that off if you've enjoyed this content you know what to do hit the like button subscribe turn on notifications and i will catch you in the next one